In this example we're going to look at the new option for allowing us to machine undercuts using the Z-level finishing operation. Now on this part what you'll notice is we have this channel through the centre of the part and we simply want to do a Z-level finishing operation down the sides of these parts. Now in this case what you'll notice is we have two undercut regions. We have this sort of shelf area which is undercut down here and we also have this boss sticking out of the shape of the part um, and you can see we've got a, another undercut into that region. Now traditionally if I created a Z-level operation, in this case I've already got one created that has no undercut selected and I run through a quick centerline simulation you'll notice the toolpath path cuts down the part. If I hide the shading, just view the top of the part, you'll notice that the shape is extended all the way down to the bottom of the part here. And also if I rotate round, you'll notice that it is taking the shape of that shelf and we've got a straight cut all the way down the front of the part. I have a pre-created STL stock file that you'll notice here. So we've already roughed out the part effectively. What I'm going to do is run a 3D simulation just to sort of highlight. You'll notice we get the shape there of the part. And it's failed to find the undercuts. And same on this side. So to rectify that problem, we've just got a simple checkbox inside the operation. So I'm going to turn this operation off and turn on the second one into the properties, into the Z-level tab, and you'll notice undercuts is checked. Let's just say OK. Let's hide the feature. This time play the centerline simulation. And you'll notice once it's calculated, this operation has actually detected the undercut. Let's rotate round. And again, turn off the shading just to highlight. We can now see the shape of that boss is reflected in the shape of the toolpath. And if I rotate round, you'll also notice that it's managed to find the shelf. And you'll see the toolpath coming in using that tip disc cutter. So let's finally run another 3D simulation. Just rotate round. So you'll notice the tool moving in. Still a Z-level toolpath, but you'll now notice it's working its way into the undercut region. And just rotating round, you can now see we're going under that shelf as well. So that's the new option that allows us to detect undercuts using a Z-level finishing operation.